July 20, Saturday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord He will not contend or cry out. Many disciples who follow Jesus truly believe that he is the Messiah, the Christ, although in a worldly and political mold. Most of them will later drift away disappointed at the non-confrontational stance of Jesus and his constant call towards non-violence. Jesus comes to know about the evil plan of the Pharisees, influential religious leaders who are out to destroy him. He does not create the rucus by mobilizing his own followers against the Pharisees. He does not speak against this injustice. Matthew quotes part of the first servant song found in Isaiah and applies the prophecy to Jesus. Jesus is identified to be the mysterious servant in Isaiah's prophecy, my beloved in whom I delight. Jesus is not perturbed by the evil intent of the Pharisees. He devotes his time and energy to healing many sick people. He proceeds from the countryside and he instructs his followers to keep his identity secret. Jesus remains pleasing to his heavenly Father by pursuing the path of peace. He preaches the good news as God's tender mercy, not with heavy judgment or condemnation.